thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to download the Sentinel-2 dataset from this Copernicus new website. Okay, so how we can able to browse it, how we can able to download that we are going to see today. So first, you just need to go to the any browser and search Copernicus data space ecosystem. Okay. Once you will search this, you will get the website link. That is the Copernicus data space ecosystem. Europe's eye on earth. Just click here. So now you can able to see the information about the website. And if you want to download the data set, then click on the explore data and data collections option is there. Once you'll click here, you will be able to see all the Sentinel information given here. Sentinel 1, Sentinel 2, Sentinel 3. And if you want to download any particular Sentinel data set, then just click on it. I'm interested to do for Sentinel 2. I'll just click on the Sentinel 2. And now you need to clear, you need to create your account first here. Okay. Explore Sentinel 2 data option is there. And in the Explorer, you need to create your account first. I have already created my account. But how to create your account for that? You just need to click here. I will log out. So you will see login option here in the starting. So you just need to click on the login. You will see the new window will open here and you need to register and create an account for free in 16 seconds. So just click on the register. Once you will click on the register, all the detail you need to add here, your first name, last name, email ID, password, all these details you need to fill. Once you will fill all the details, then you will get an email. Okay. So you need to just click on the verify email address and your email address will verify. So I have already created my account. I will just click on the login and again, I will click on the login. So you will see here, uh, I have already logged in here. After login, we need to select the data. We need to search the location where we are interested to download the Sentinel-2 data set. So you can able to search here. Like suppose I'm interested to do it for the Mumbai. I will just add Mumbai and you will get the detail. So just click on it. Okay. So it will automatically come to that location. And here you can able to see so many options are there. Okay. So suppose you want to select a study area, particular study area you want to select. Then you can just click here. Okay. Once you'll click here, you will see so many options are available. Rectangle you can able to take or you can able to upload a shape file here. So I'll just take this rectangle and I can able to draw the rectangle like this. So click to place first vertex. So just need to left click. Okay. Once you left click, you can just drag it and just double click. So this way you can able to select your study area. So how much area you have selected, it will show here how much square kilometer area you have selected. And after that, you if you want to download the data set, then you can able to go on the search option. Okay, click on the search option. And here you can able to see the Sentinel-2, Sentinel-3. So I'm interested to do for Sentinel-2, I'll select Sentinel-2. And in the Sentinel-2, this is the cloud cover. Okay. So I want a minimum cloud cover that is a within 10% or 6%. Then we need to select a date for which date I'm interested to download. So you can also reduce like this or you can click here. Once you'll click, we need to select the date like January, February month. So from January 1st, okay. So till date I will search. So. If you want a previous date or previous year, you can just click here and you can able to go back here. But I'm interested to for this present. So I will select from 1st of Jan to till date. And now you can able to click on the search. So once you'll click on the search, you will get the tiles here. Okay. Let I will unzoom it a little bit. So you can able to move like this also, or else you can click here on the product info. Once you'll click on the product info, you'll get the detail about it. Okay. And also you can able to see 
all the detail here as well. That is a Sentinel-2 data set. Then which instrument is using, how much, what is the size of it, okay? The date of it. So this is the 14 March, 2024. And time is also given, okay? Once you'll click here, it will show the location on a map here, okay? So this is the location which we are going to download the data set. And here also you can able to see there is no cloud cover as well because we have selected only 6% cloud cover. So there is no cloud. And if you want to read more detail or you want to see anything, you can also, if you click here, this will also show which area we are able to select, which area we have selected that it, that it also will show. And if you want to download the data, you can just click on the download option here. Okay. Once you click on the download option, you will see it is downloading here. That is a 1%, 2%, 3%. So after it 100%, it will automatically download. So till that, so till then we'll wait. Now it's nearly completing to download. If your area falls in a two, three study area, if your area is large, then you can able to download the multiple image and later on you can able to mosaic that image. Okay. So now if here you can able to see, so my study area is coming into so many tiles. So I need to download the tiles and I need to mosaic it. And then I can able to extract my study area from it. So this you have to do if your area is large. But I'm here just showing you example how to download the imagery. So one single image I will download. So similarly, you can able to download the multiple imagery. And in QGIS, RGS software, you can able to mosaic it. So now it's nearly 100% completed. And after completing, you can able to see it is added here. Okay. So let I will click on the download option. So there's nearly 1.1 GB file is there and it's downloaded. I will just click show in the folder. So just right click extract file option is there. Just click on OK. And now you can able to see this file we have extracted. So you can able to see the date as well here, 2024-03-14, okay? So 03-14. So here, just need to go to granule and image data. So you'll see 10 meter, 20 meter and 60 meter data is there. If you'll see here the Sentinel-2 bands, So I'll go to imagery. So in the Sentinel-2 band, you will see the band 2, band 3, and band 4, and also the band 8. It's 10 meter resolution. Okay. So this is the 10 meter resolution data. So band 2, band 3, band 4, and band 8. Okay. As I have shown here. Then 20 meter band is also there. Okay. That is a band 5, 6, 7. All 20 meter bands are there and 60 meter bands are also there. So if you if you want to do band composite and all that, you can able to add this image into ArcGIS environment or QGIS environment and there you can able to do the composite band. Like I will add here, I will just go to Arc Map and I will paste the path here and click on enter. So this data I have downloaded. So just I will add band two, band three, band four, and band eight. So if I zoom it here, you'll able to see this pixel, okay? And if right click, go to properties, you will see this is a 10 meter resolution. So go to source. So 10 meter resolution data is here. 
So you can able to create a composite band. I have already explained in previous videos how to, you can able to create a band composite of Sentinel-2 data set. And you can able to prepare the land use land cover map after creating a band composite. Here, 20 meter bands are also available. Okay, so 20 meter bands are there. If you right click, go to properties, you will see the 20 meter special resolution. Okay. So this way very easily you can able to download the Sentinel-2 data set from the Copernicus website. So if you're having any doubts regarding all these things, you can ask me in the comment sections. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.